What's going on guys? Billy here with Billy Schultz Music, bringing you the easiest guitar tutorials on YouTube, and today we're learning how to play Good News by Mac Miller. If you're new here, click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell, that way you never miss a new tutorial. Also, I'm giving away a free, brand new acoustic guitar, along with a bunch of other guitar related prizes and accessories, so if you want some free stuff, stick around to the end of the video, I get into all the giveaway stuff there, but for now, let's jump into it, this is how you play the song. Okay, you guys, so this song has got a few different chords that you're just going to be strumming through that repeat throughout the entire song. As always, if you need the chord diagrams, you can find them in the free ebook that's in the video description. It's called Master the Guitar in Seven Days. I'll start out by showing you the chords, and then we'll go through the chord progression and the strumming pattern. Your first chord is going to be an E major bar chord. It's going to be 0, 7, uh, 9, 9, 9, 7. So you're barring the 7th fret starting on the A string and then you're gonna bar the D, G, and B string with your ring finger, so. And it's okay if you can't get that high E down there with your, um, with, the, with the bar right there, if your ring finger's kind of muting it. That's fine, because you're really just, you just need the A, D, G, and, and B for this chord. But if you can, you can um, bar it to where you can hear that high E, but you don't need it, so. E major bar chord is your first chord. Then you're gonna go to an A flat major seven, which is uh, four, seven, four, five, four, four. You're gonna bar the fourth fret with your index finger. Your ring finger is gonna be on the sixth fret of the A string, and your middle finger is gonna be on the fifth fret of the G string. Then you're going to go to a C sharp minor seven. You're going to keep that fourth fret barred, and then you're going to put its um, X, nothing on the low E, four, six, four, five, four, um, barring the fourth fret with the index finger, ring finger on the sixth fret on the D string, and then middle finger on the fifth fret on the B string. Next, we're going B major, same exact formation that you're using for your E. You're just sliding it down, starting on the second fret. So nothing on your low E, and then you're going two, four, 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 two. So bar that second fret with your index, and then bar the D, G, and B string with your ring finger. Then you're gonna to go to an A major bar chord. It's gonna be five, seven, seven, six, five, five. Bar the 5th fret with your index finger, 7th fret ring finger A string, pinky finger 7th fret D string, middle finger 6th fret on your G string. From there you're going to a traditional C sharp minor but the bar chord, it's going to start on the 9th fret. It's 9, 11, 11, 9, 9, 9. Bar the entire 9th fret with your index finger, ring finger on the 11th fret with your on your A string, and your pinky finger on the 11th fret of the D string. And then finally we have an E, uh, e major, or an E diminished chord. Um, I'm not playing anything on the high or low E strings, and you're going uh, 7, 8, 9, 8. That's index finger, 7th fret on the A string, middle finger, 8th fret on the D string, pinky finger, 9th fret on your G string, and ring finger, 8th fret on your B string. Now those are your chords, and that is your chord progression. So E bar chord, A flat major 7, C sharp minor 7, B, A, C sharp minor, and then E diminished. That is the entire chord progression, and that just repeats throughout the entire song. Now where it's going to get tricky is your strumming pattern here. It's it's the rhythm is, is a little bit weird. Um, so think of all these in counts of four. You're just going to be counting to four on the rhythm, just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you're going to stay, I'm going to explain to you exactly when and where you're going to switch through the chords. Um, starting with your E major bar chord, four counts. One, two, three, four. And what I'm doing for all these chords, you don't necessarily have to, but it's, it goes with the rhythm of the song, is I'm strumming, I'm letting off to mute, and then I'm pressing again before I strum again. Um, that gives it that, that muted sound. 
So strum, let off, back on, strum, let off, back on, strum, let off, back on, strum. And I, I'm doing that for every single chord. So four counts, one, two, three, four. Now your A flat major seven, three counts, one, two, three, C sharp minor seven, you're gonna hit the four there, another count of four, and then the one for the next chord. Now what I mean by that is you're going on your A flat major seven, one, two, three, switch, four, one, two, three, four, one, B major, two, three, A major, one. So all together that looks like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to show this to you a few times because it can get very confusing. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now from the start, that looks like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now from there, you just landed on four for one strum. You're gonna do one more count of four and then a count of three on this A. So it's that one count of four, or that one count on the fourth, one full count of four, and then one count of three. So you landed on four. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Side to your C sharp minor for four, one, two, three. Switch to your E diminished. One, two, three, four, back to E. And that's the end and it starts over. Again, I know it's very confusing. I'll show you again starting um, from, the, from the A. I'm going to start from when we landed on four. It's four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Go one more time. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now again, I know this is very confusing. I'm gonna count through the entire thing a few times that way you can really see what it all looks like together. Um, I'm gonna go through it very slowly so you can get, really get it down. So here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, four. 
There you have it guys, that's all there is to it. Keep practicing, you will have this song down in no time. Now the way the giveaways are gonna work is each month I'm picking two winners. One will win a guitar accessories kit that's got a capo, guitar strap, strings, picks, everything you need in there as a beginner guitarist. And the second winner is gonna win a free Billy Schultz Music t-shirt from my merch site. And then once the channel hits 50,000 subscribers, I'm gonna pick one of you lucky winners to win a free brand new acoustic guitar. All that you have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and leave a comment on this video with a song that you would like me to teach you on guitar. Now turning on notifications is extremely important because each month I'm going to be live streaming the announcement of the monthly prize giveaways and then once I hit 50,000 subscribers I'm going to live stream the announcement for that as well and to get notified you gotta have those notifications turned on. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Billy Schultz Music. The more that I see you guys on Instagram, on YouTube, liking, commenting, uh, it doesn't matter on what platform it is, that's just going to increase your chances of winning one of these prizes. So again, to enter all the giveaways, like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you get the notification for the live streams, and leave a comment on any of the videos with a song you would like me to teach you on guitar. Also, make sure you're checking the descriptions for all the videos because I got a lot of really useful links down there for you guys. The free ebook, Master the Guitar in Seven Days, will always be down there. The guitar tab for any of the videos will be down there. All my personal information is in there, my Instagram, my socials, my email address. Thank you guys again. I really can't say it enough. Your support has been incredible. I can't wait to give away next month's giveaways and I can't wait to give away this acoustic guitar. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Shoot me an email, DM me on Instagram at Billy Schultz Music. Those are the easiest ways to get in touch with me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We'll see you guys in the next video.